Back in August, the FHS Athletic Department created a class for students who were interested in recording the football games and after school football practice. These videos are used to help the coaches and players review plays. Primary goal is to film practices for uh, our football team. It just helps the coaches evaluate the athletes and better advise them on, on how they should be playing. Um, they also, uh, on Friday nights, will be part of the film crew where they'll film uh, one of three shots. We have a tight shot, a wide shot, and an end zone shot. And so they're part of that film crew as well for our games. There were four members in this year's class who had alternating A-day and B-day schedules that involved recording games and practices after school. I went out to practice every day um, during A-days and we would film with drones and then we'd have game days on Fridays, sometimes Thursdays. And you just kind of feel like you're part of all the game day activities basically and get to kind of be behind the scenes and not be on the field but do everything for the team still. I got to learn how to work with cameras which is pretty cool because I'm really into photography but like video production was also interesting and you got to be part of like the football team like the people knew you they knew who you were you got to go out there with the team and film them while they practice and like form like new relationships with them and like just friendships that I still friend with to this day so I think that was pretty cool. The film crew is a unique class that is considered a privilege to take. Students are expected to meet certain requirements. For this position, we're looking for a student that is trustworthy. Uh, they're good in and out of the classroom. Um, I can rely on them to show up on time. Somebody who we can count on, that can follow directions uh, really well. If you are interested in being a part of the 2021 film crew, please contact Coach Torres at torresm at friscoisd.org before seeing your counselor. It's a big responsibility, but it's worth the effort. Plus, you get in the games for free. For RACC TV, I'm Hayden Brown. When we think of high school competition, most people think of sports, but the high school experience includes all types of competition, including academics. For example, Academic Decathlon is a pre-AP elective course that combines cognitive skills with competitive spirit. This year's ACTEC students have produced a short video urging others to take this compelling course. Many people have heard about Academic Decathlon, but what is it really? Academic decathlon involves 10 subjects. This includes economics, math, science, art, literature, social science, music, essay, speech, and interview. Academic octathlon does not involve speech or interview, but the theme is the same for both. This year's theme is the Cold War, but it changes each year, as last year it was medicine, and the year prior it was the 1960s. Now, I know what you may be thinking. This is way too hard for me. I can't do it. Well, here's the thing. There are three different brackets for ACTIC. Honors for A students, Scholastics for B students, and Varsity for C students. Now, depending on which bracket you land in, you'll be competing against other students who are in the same bracket, which means they have the same grades as you. This means you don't have to be a stellar student to do well in ACTIC. One of the main reasons uh, people come to ACTEC is to compete, but there are also many other benefits, one of them being it being a social organization. But there's also many other things. First, you get snacks and food at almost every major event. Second, you get more service hours. Third, the more work you put in, the more medals you get. ACTEC can get you teacher recommendations and scholarships. And if you choose so, you can also take it as a creative elective. There are also costs as well as benefits. Now let's look at all the benefits. Now the only cost is time. Now if we compare them, which one wins? It looks like benefits for me. ACTEC is also a very socially oriented program as well. In fact, we've had many different social events in the past, including pizza parties, team building events, and days where we play video games together. This helps us members build a bond with each other, which will in, in the future help us at competitions. Plus, who can say no to some among us? Over the last few years, our program has achieved a huge amount of growth, and last year we were able to win the state competition at Frisco, winning lots of medals and scholarships in the process. This year, we got second in our district, 
which is a huge accomplishment since our district is one of the most competitive in the entire state. We hope to do even better at regionals and state this year. Each year, come competition season, each member stands on stage to demonstrate the tremendous amount of effort and dedication shown to this program. And we hope in the following years that many of you can join us in the wonderful experience known as Academic Decathlon. If you like competing with your brain instead of your brawn, ask your counselor about Academic Decathlon. Next Friday, April 16th, is the deadline for finalizing the fall schedule. The ACDEC theme for this fall is water, a most essential resource. So put your toe in and see how it feels. It might be just right for you. For RACC TV, I'm Mari T. Next Friday and Saturday night at 7 p.m., the Frisco Stars are going to present their very first online spring show. The theme is A Year Like No Other, and they've been rehearsing for weeks to give you the best performance of the year. I actually got the honor of coming up with the theme this year, and it is A Year Like No Other, which I think that we can all agree on. And I mean, we've had a change in location. We're adding in a couple more pieces for the seniors and everything to do since, um, you know, our year has been kind of different. So it's just nice to have more dances and to get to showcase more to our families. This is actually where we practice most of the time, so it makes everything a lot more comfortable and you can see the people watching you. <laughs> I think what makes this year's spring show special is it's the theme is a year like no other, which matches the whole COVID year we've had, and also it will be live stream and in the gym, which is something we've never done before. This will be the final performance for our senior stars, and it will be the time to reflect on four years of memorable moments. I think my favorite thing about being a part of the stars is all the friends I've made because we kind of have a sisterhood. We're all super close and I made so many memories with them. I think the thing I enjoy most about being a part of stars is just getting to come to school every day and look forward to something. I'm the social president this year so I get to have stars during third period every day because I have an officer period and then this period that I'm in right now which is 3B and it's just so nice to see the same faces every day and know that regardless of what kind of day you've had at school you can come here and just dance and have fun with your friends. My favorite moment this year was the last playoff game that we performed at because we won at the last seconds of the game and that was just an amazing thing and everyone got so excited and that was a perfect way to end off our football season. The online format will introduce a completely new experience. The viewers will see the stars showcasing a production that's going to be outstanding featuring their competition routines, um, different genres of dance, we're going to be showcasing the seniors. We're going to have soloists that won a competition. And of course, there'll be a video montage of football season, all the different seasons, pep rallies, things that we have done off and on throughout the year. The live streaming is free and the entire world can watch by going to FriscoHighStars.com. Kick up your heels and tune in next Friday and Saturday at 7 p.m. to see A Year Like No Other with the Frisco Stars. The show must go on, and at home, the mask can come off. For RACC TV, I'm AJ Denota. Fours out. The first iPhone was introduced in January 2007, when some of today's high school students were still in diapers. The average cost was about $600. Within a couple of years, the price had come down by almost half, and more and more people were carrying smartphones. Competition emerged in 2008 when the first Android iPhone was introduced at a much lower price. Since then, approximately 4 billion smartphones, Apple and Android, are used in worldwide. That includes high school. Which do you prefer, iPhone or Android? I prefer Apple. Uh, I have an iPhone myself. Um, I prefer it because I like the like how it looks better. Like I just like the like way that the apps look better. Also, there are certain apps that you can get on iPhone that you can't get on Android, so it's kind of a win-win. I have an iPhone. Why do you prefer iPhone? Because I get to play Apple games with mainly my friends, like you know, like eight ball and everything. So it's entertaining. Plus, the quality is just better. It's, I don't know, it's just easier for me. I just grew up with it, so I don't think I'll switch anytime soon. Uh, I prefer Apple, because it's like easier, because Android be like, they just, the battery just be coming off, like if you drop it. So I just prefer iPhone, because you know, it's better, you know, the better quality. <laughs> yeah. 
I prefer Android because I feel like I can do way more with an Android phone than an iPhone because I can control all of it. I can just do whatever I want with it compared to an Apple. Uh, iPhone. What? I personally prefer iPhone. iPhone, but it's the only normal thing, bro. iPhone just like easier on my eyes. Like the Samsung, it's it's hard. Like it, I don't know. Like the letters are different. You know. Yes, iPhone's a lot easier to work with instead of Samsung. It's user friendly. Yeah, there you go. It also has like actual FaceTime, you know. Like yeah, it, yeah, it doesn't got yeah. you don't gotta, you don't got to use that Google Duo or whatever. That Google I, Hangout. Yeah, Google yeah, Hangout. Yeah, yeah. That's fine. Yeah, I prefer Apple because uh, with Android, I just can't get clowned on. Like, yeah, especially with the camera and stuff, so, yeah. I use an Android. I just prefer the hardware and also, I think, like, the App Store and the functionality is easier to use. Magic the Gathering Arena is only on Android, and that's a game I play a lot, so that's one benefit, I guess. iPhone. Because I can FaceTime people. I have Cricket Wireless and a flip phone, so I don't really know. iPhone. <laughs> Camera quality, and we can play iMessage games. Preferably Android, because I got an Android. Plus, they don't break easily, you know? iPhone, the emojis are way better. Believe it or not, unlike the students at Frisco High, Android has about 72% of the worldwide market. Whether it's iPhone or Android, there's something for everyone. It's your call. For RACC TV, I'm Amy Lopez. Good morning, fellow raccoons. Welcome to the Week in Weather Watch. I'm Broccoli Mills. And I'm Brady Blissett. I can't believe we're getting close to the end of the year. April came in the blink of an eye. Hey, Brock. What, Brady? When do monkeys fall from the sky? When? During April showers. <laughs> Speaking of the weather. Today we'll see thunderstorms, hopefully without any monkeys. The high will be 87 and the low will be 59. Saturday will be sunny with a high of 79 and a low of 53. And Sunday will also be sunny with a high of 85 and a low of 62. It's pretty crazy that just six weeks ago we had that snowstorm. Hey, did your pipes freeze? No, I can still sing. Younger than springtime are you soft? than starlight are you well okay what's going on this weekend girls softball boys baseball and wrestling all have events throughout the weekend check the calendar for more information seniors prom is this saturday seven o'clock at the embassy suites be there or be nowhere have a great weekend everybody for RACC tv i'm broccoli mills and i'm brady blissett Younger than springtime, are you softer than starlight, are you?